بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد we ask that Allah the Almighty strengthens us all and blesses us during the remainder of this Ramadan and the remainder of the time that we spend on this earth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and our families, forgive us and our families and guide us and our families. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. And help and assist the Muslims everywhere with peace and stability in their lands and stability and security based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam based on the Sharia of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala bless them with that tawfiq. Amin ya Rabbil Alamin. And. It, as a reminder to myself, first and foremost, as I was re reflecting and I felt kind of sadness. Sometimes you feel a type of sadness from whatever events in your life. Perhaps it could be family related, perhaps it could be well related to your wealth and your livelihood, or perhaps due to the state of your Iman. Whatever the various causes are, that as human beings we feel different emotions and sadness. So we need the, the reminder, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, remind as the reminder benefits the believer. That the, the, the reminder, it benefits the believer. So from Baba Tathkir, as a reminder for myself and others, related to the, this dunya, that sometimes we get caught up in this worldly life and we think that, that this is it and that the trials and tribulations that we're facing that they won't come to an end and that all the various things of this dunya maybe sometimes we see that we are we feel that we're not blessed as others are blessed with certain aspects of this life certainly world, worldly possessions so it's always important for us to remind ourselves that the places of this dunya, this life, that this life is not the end result. And this life is a means to the akhirah. As the Salaf used to say, a dunya dar al-amal wal-akhirah dar al jaza that this life is the place of doing good deeds. So this is a time to reap, uh, to, to, uh, to do good deeds, to strive to better yourself. And the hereafter is the time to reap those benefits. So we, we have to be conscious that we will reap our reward inshallah ta'ala if we did good in the hereafter. It will come. And that this time here is temporary and passing 
and that we want to be of those who prefer the akhirah, the life of the hereafter, and that we use this world as a means for good. The Prophet wasallam said, "Adunya sijinu mu'min wa jannatul kafir." That we already explained the meaning of this hadith, but that the Prophet wasallam said, "This life, it's a, it is the paradise of the, it's paradise of the disbeliever." So that they've already. This, this is what they're going to get. This is it. And that it is a... Prison for the believer. Meaning that the believer sacrifices a lot in this dunya. a lot of things that they may want, a lot of things they possibly feel they may need, but Allah gives us what is sufficient for us. But for sure things we want, we sacrifice. And that's the status for the believer, that they, they don't get all the things they want necessarily in this dunya. But rather they have to sacrifice and struggle. However, the, the one who disbelieves in Allah, who has no bounds, who doesn't set up any boundaries. So we're talking about, of course, all disbelievers, but especially those who don't even have a, a, a religious tradition, who take their desires as their lords. Meaning whatever they want, they pursue it and they say, hey, this is it. This is the life. You know, I don't have to worry. I have no consequences or I'm responsible for myself. So those people, who take this world as their final home, they pursue whatever they want. So this is their end result, is that they enjoyed a temporary time in this life. But the believer goes through various trials and tribulations and struggles and sacrifices things that they may want. And they do that in order to attain a better hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al- In Surah Al-Naziat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ طَغَى وَأَثَرَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا نَفْسًا عَنِ الْحَوَىٰ فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَعْوَىٰ Allahu Akbar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And as for the one who transgresses bounds meaning they commit sins and wickedness and they prefer the life of this world. So this world is, is that Jannah for them. This is their, their Jannah because they don't believe in the Akhirah. They don't believe in the Day of Judgment. فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ So their end result, the place that what they're going to attain is Jahim. Their abode will be Jahim, will be the hellfire. And a wicked abode it is. And as for the one who fears his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala 
and he prohibits himself from his hoa. That is, is such a beautiful ayah because we see that how that practices and how it, how it, it, it is actualized in our life. And as for the one who restricts, who, who fears his Lord and restricts himself from his desires, because we have desires. It isn't that the believer doesn't have desires, doesn't enjoy many things in this world we want to indulge in. While we see other people indulging in certain activities, sometimes our hearts might be inclined to that. But for the sake of Allah, because we fear Allah, because we restrain ourselves for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we deny ourselves that bit of, of what might have been temporary pleasure and of chasing our desires. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and as for the one who fears his Lord, and we talked about taqwa, and what it means to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fearing his punishment and fearing and knowing that he, he sees you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, adhering as far as taqwa, adhering to the commands of Allah and avoiding the things he has prohibited. So as for the one who fears Allah, and as taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, and they prohibit themselves from their desires, then Allah mentions the natija, the result, what we can attain. That verily Jannah, paradise, will be their abode. So that reminder can help us strengthen ourselves and remember that this is not the end result. That whatever struggle and tribulation that you experience in this life, that the trials will end and a lot of the, and the pleasures in this life are temporary. So as not to get discouraged by what you feel you might have missed, but rather fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing what He commands and avoiding what He prohibited. And we ask Allah the Almighty to strengthen us in Iman, Islam, Ihsan, wa taqullah azza wa jal, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم